Welcome to online study for you. This is a session on the 30 minute coding challenge. So if you have watched our previous videos, you will know what is a 30 minute coding challenge. So a 30 minute coding challenge is a, a question that is given in the TCS NQT examination that is going to be held on this August of 2019. So in this examination, you will have different questions of about programming MCQs, verbal and quantitative aptitude, etc. And you will also have one question that is a coding question. You will have maximum of 30 minutes to solve the problem and write the code for this and execute and get the right answer. So this video will help you to do it by solving some sample uh, coding question. So what we will do in this session is that we will take up one coding question. So this question is uh, we have made previous videos and this question is slightly uh, looks challenging than the previous ones but it is not so challenging if you think through the problem this is somewhat easy so maximum of 30 minutes will be taken to solve this question so you will not need actually 30 minutes to solve these problems so it is, they are uh, mostly very simple question that is just to test your logical and thinking capability and in this video we will discuss the strategy to come up with a solution and then code up the solution so we i am going to walk you through the process of thinking uh, and getting a solution so we uh, so even if you are coding you you should have a pen and paper uh, beside you where you can write up do experiment and quickly come up with the solution and then later uh, write com uh, can convert that solution into a program and code it up so why wait let us get started so i'm going to my browser so uh, if you notice this is a website called hackerrank.com so uh, if you do not know this is a platform where you can get model uh, coding challenge problems where you can practice so even you can get jobs using this pro platform if you have a good uh, profile so you will have a profile and you will be given points and a rank etc so I have gone to the practice section algorithms implementation and this is a kangaroo question so uh, let us read out the question okay so if you have any difficulties you can go to discussion section uh, here or here and uh, you can ask questions uh, with okay about uh, the solution or whatever difficulties you have so you'll be having a problem section in that you will have the problem description and then you have the sample input and output what should be the output the explanation of the problem maybe okay and then a code editor to code up the solution right so what uh, we will do here is uh, what we'll do in this uh, video is first we will read out the problem so it says that you are choreographing a circus show with various animals <laughs> that would be cool uh, yeah that would that is so much better than uh, sitting in front of a computer and programming so let us read on for one act you are given two kangaroos on a number line ready to jump in the positive direction towards positive infinity so the first kangaroo starts at location x1 and moves at a rate of v1 meters per jump the second kangaroo starts at location x2 and moves at a rate of v2 meters per jump so you have to figure out a way to get both kangaroos at the same location the same time as part of the show is it possible uh, return yes otherwise return no so i'm going to read the uh, next sentences and then i'm going to clearly explain you what the problem states so for example kangaroo one starts at x is x1 is equal to two with a jump distance of v1 is equal to 1 and a kangaroo 2 starts at a location of x2 equal to 1 with a jump distance of v2 is equal to 2 after one jump they are both at 3 because x1 plus v1 is equal to 2 and x2 plus v2 is equal to 1 plus 2 that is 3 right so our answer is yes so what you have to do is you have to write a function that say that takes x1 v1 that is integers uh, starting position and jump distance of kangaroo 1 you should take x2 v2 which is integers that are starting position and jump distance of kangaroo 2 so what is the input format is that a single line of four space separated integers they are going to give you 
four integers four numbers x1 v1 x2 and v2 that stands for x1 is the starting position of the first kangaroo v1 is the jump distance of uh, first kangaroo and x2 is also the same for the second kangaroo so the constraints are the x1 uh, is actually lesser than x2 it should be lesser than x2 because the first kangaroo is behind the second kangaroo okay and the v1 and v2 are having some values so the output format is you have to print yes if they can land on the same direction at the same time okay and otherwise no so the sample input 0 3 4 and 2 so the output is yes because when uh, so explanation is given here a clear pictorial explanation so i'm going to explain my this here also here only so oh, oh, let uh, let me take a screenshot of this and uh, let me explain it here okay I will uh, just crop this okay so so this is the problem that is given so it says what you have is your kangaroo one is standing here okay you have one kangaroo here and you have another kangaroo which is starting from this position okay it is starting from here okay it is not starting from the air which is sta starting from here itself but it is shown like that in this picture okay so the first kangaroo jumps at a distance uh, of a margin of three uh, three uh, uh, what units per jump so they are standing imagine that they are standing in a number line and they are jumping towards this positive infinity side okay so this is going to take 0 1 uh, 0 1 2 and 3 jumps so after first jump the first kangaroo will be here and after second jump it will be here 9 and 12 and so on so second kangaroo which starts here let me take a different color so the second kangaroo which start here uh, it jumps if i see the question it jumps at two units per jump so after four it will be at six then it will be at 8 and then it will be at 10 and then it will be at 12 so at 12 what happens is both kangaroo will be in the same place so if they will be in the same place you have to say yes so if they will not be in the same place you have to say no okay so that is what is the problem so how to come up with a solution for this problem so how to come up with a solution for this problem so the first thing you have to note is that in order to come up with the problem they have given us four uh, variables that is x1 that is the initial starting distance of kangaroo 1 that is x1 is this okay so then you have v1 that is a jump length of the first kangaroo and then you have x2 okay and uh, v2 the same for the second kangaroo so here you can only find the solution if v1 is greater than v2 okay why is that because the first kangaroo starts here the second kangaroo starts somewhere here so if the jump uh, jump distance of the second kangaroo is more than the sec first kangaroo they will never meet so if this is if this condition is false then you can straight away say no because they will never overlap into the same position okay okay if it is not then it is directly no if it is yes if v1 is greater than v2 then here you have two conditions so what is it is that if the difference between the the initial distance of these two that is this this is the initial distance difference between the first and the second kangaroo and the difference between the v1 and v2 okay so here you will get a number let us say a and if this number is b if the number a is divisible completely by b then you can say that they will overlap in a same location and you can say yes okay why is that so if we say uh, this is a and this is b 
दे विल बी कंप्लीटली डिविजिबल ओनली वेन एट सर्टन इंटरवल्स ऑफ नंबर्स एंड दो सर्टन नंबर्स इन विच द कैंग विल बी meeting each other so what you can say is since x2 is greater than x1 right so x2 is greater than x1 so what you can say is x2 minus x1 the difference between the locations and v1 minus v2 because v1 is greater than v2 we have known here okay v1 is greater than v2 and if the mod the the remainder is zero if the remainder is zero it means that they are completely divisible then you can say yes okay otherwise you should say no that is because uh, they will not meet in that interval of time so that is the total logic of this whole question so the question while reading seems difficult but in execution this is a very fairly simple question and uh, you can solve it within the given time frame of 30 minutes so let us code up this solution in live and uh, see what will happen so there is a pre existing code here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just delete this code and we are going to start from scratch okay so hash include stdio.h okay then my in main i will return zero and uh, let us start fresh so first we have to declare int x1 v1 x2 and v2 then we have to take the input so scan f percentage d percentage d percentage d percentage d we are taking four numbers as input and percent x1 and percent x2 oh sorry it will be v1 it is in the order so you should remember that so x2 and i percent v2 so that is the sequence of input so since the input is done now we have to calculate so what happens in the calculation is as i told you the v1 should be greater than v2 that is the jump of the first kangaroo the pace of the jump of the first kangaroo should be greater than the pace of the jump of the second kangaroo okay so that is mandatory if that is not then you can directly say no so what i'm going to do is if v1 is greater than v2 i'm going to do some calculation if it is not i'm going to say print f no so i'll directly say no okay so if it is true then we have established a condition here saying that the difference the the number that we get after taking the difference in the initial position of the kangaroo and the difference in the jump of uh, jump rate of the kangaroos should be divisible completely divisible only then we can say yes so that is if i'm going to open another bracket x2 minus x1 okay mod mod v1 minus v2 okay so x2 minus x1 because initial position of kangaroo 2 is greater than the initial position of kangaroo 1 and v1 minus v2 because the v1 speed is greater than the v2 okay if it is equal to 0 then i can say print f yes else what is this okay else i'm going to print f no we are done with the question this is a this is the solution okay we are done with the solution this is very simple okay so the question to Uh, read and if you look at the diagrams it looks messy you feel that this question is difficult so never come to such conclusion read the question fully understand the concept that is behind and only then you can understand so i'm going to run the code and the code will be uploaded to the website it will process the code and then i'm going to get an output so they have just tested it for two sample cases 
uh, we got a correct answer now when we submit it the code will be tested for lot of different test cases and all the test cases it is true and it is giving me a congratulatory message saying that all the test cases have come true so they have tested it for 29 test cases so let us look at the random test cases how it looks i'm going to lose five hackos here so five hackos is like the coin that i get by solving problems so i will unlock this for five hackos and uh, see these are the these are the options so it is starting here and it it jumps at a rate of this speed okay so it is very much and uh, the second kangaroo starts here it jumps faster than the first kangaroo so that is exactly why it said no straight away because they will never meet so that is what is the solution for this question so if you have any questions regarding this you can comment down in the comment section or you can go for this discussion section or here okay that is given here to discuss with people who are solving this question or people who were uh, you know having difficulties like uh, you if you are having one uh, they will ask questions here and uh, you can interact with them so they will ask questions here if you can see okay so you can also type your questions here and uh, they will answer or if you comment down below we are also going to answer uh, the questions for you so thank you for watching this video so for more videos like this or uh, videos regarding to your verbal aptitude or quantitative aptitude uh, do follow our channel so like this video if you found it useful share it to your friends who are preparing for the examinations and uh, happy reading thank you for watching this video